Your girl just got out of therapy. And after that session, baby, let me make sure y'all straight and not crooked. Never drink during the week. That ain't usually, I usually, let me not say never. I usually don't drink during the week. But this is Grandma Ye with a pina colada popsicle. Mm-mm-mm. Good to me. I'm back on track. I'm going to the gym tomorrow. So this morning, I woke up late because I went to sleep late. And so I purposely turned off my alarm. But we in the gym tomorrow. Okay, so I wanted to check back in. Right now. So right now it is 12, 12 a.m. on the Wednesday, December 7th. Yeah. And I'm almost done with my media kit. Oops, let me. It's so cute. And all I really have to add is the services I offer and then I'm done. So I can finish that tomorrow. I'm going to sleep and now my laptop is telling me I'm out of memory. One thing about Apple, they're gonna get your money by Offering you products to get memory because we all want to keep our pictures. We all because I have an external hard drive. I just I'm just really trying to figure out how is the computer running out of memory when I bought a specific type, right? When it comes with enough storage where I wouldn't have this problem again. Because I have another Mac but Pro right across from me, right over there. Right? I bought this brand new one and I have an external hard drive. So why are you running out of memory? And all of a sudden you're running out of memory once I canceled my iCloud. And now my phone doesn't want to... $10 a month for two terabytes, which is not that bad, but $10 a month? I already had to cancel Apple Music because I'm just like, all these subscriptions, they're going to add up. But one thing I ain't letting go is YouTube. YouTube Red. Like I, I pay like a, like eleven something <laughs> or twelve dollars. Maybe no, it's probably thirteen dollars now. It started off at like nine ninety nine. Then it just kept going up. Every so often, not even a year, you get an email. Tighten up. But I can't even stand a commercial now. I got so spoiled with it. But all right, y'all. But you know what I'm about to do? Because I just bought that modem and it comes with three months free of YouTube. So maybe I could have three months free where I don't get charged. Gotta think smart. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm recording on my phone right now because I don't feel like getting up getting the camera. But as you can see... It is 5.02 a.m. And I'm about to spend time with God. I have my Bible and I'm also going to journal and pray. So I'm going to put you guys up somewhere so you can get the gist of everything. First of all, I should get out of bed. Yeah. The bed feels so good. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Across this video, this is God telling you right now that you are stepping into the season of overlook too abundantly blessed. And too big of a God to live in a box. God is too big of a God to keep you in the same house. God is too big of a God to keep you in the same job. God is too big of a God for you to be making the same amount of money that you made last year. God is too big of a God to not bless your business abundantly. God is too big of a God for that. I will put you so that you can't be missed. God said, I will bless you in the same place that you were once rejected in. God said, I will give you double portion. The same story. Job had everything stripped away from him. His family turned to him. His friends turned to his wife. He lost his kids. He literally lost everything to his name. People were talking about him. And that's a lot of y'all stories. But guess what? Regardless of how so many people might talk about you, so many people may make videos, so many people may call you fake, say you this, say you that. Child, listen, you just got to remind yourself that if they did it to Jesus, they're going to do it to you. If they did it to Jesus, they're just going to do it to you.
And the more that people talk is the more that you should want to get in God's presence. The more that people talk is the, is the more that you should want to seek God. Because that's where the fire going to come in. <laughs> that's where the anointing going to fall. That's where the oil is going to fall. That's where God is going to continue to elevate you. That in, in front of their eyes, child, listen. Child, can't nobody stop you. Can't nobody stop you but you. If people talking about you, let them talk. If people misunderstood you, child, let them do that. If people scolding you and mocking you, child, let them do that. Cause you gotta understand it ain't even about you they coming against the spirit that is inside of you and like i tell y'all all the time your light irritates their darkness your light irritates their demons so of course they ain't gonna like you because you see right through them god said i would take you from overlooked to abundantly blessed it's possible I want to tell you that it's possible. You're not thinking too big. You're not dreaming too big. You just have to become the person that aligns with the thing that you're praying for. You can't imagine child next year where you would be because you believe the things that God told you to believe. Because you believe the things that God has shown you regardless of how much setback you had. Regardless of how much things have been removed. Regardless of how much stuff that people has talked about you. Can you imagine the place that you will be in this time next year? God said I still got time left in the year. God said it's fourth quarter baby. Don't ever sleep on me. God said, it's comeback time. God said, you a comeback kid. He said, I can still do it. Even if he waits to the last second, God said, I can still do it. And I'm still going to do it. Listen, child. People may sleep on you, but one thing I want to tell you, don't ever sleep on yourself. Don't ever sleep on yourself. Ain't nobody putting you on, put yourself on. Ain't nobody supporting you, support yourself. Ain't nobody investing you, invest in yourself. Keep doing it for you because what you do in private, God said, I'm going to reward you publicly into a season and seasons from being overlooked to abundantly blessed. God said you will reign more than the seasons that you've lacked in. Then I'm just getting started. <laughs> he said everybody else's year begins on New Year's, but your year begins today. Everybody else is going to be trying to set their goals for 2023. God said, but your goals start today. God said, but your blessing starts today. God said, but Christmas, my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. God said, Christmas is coming early. Saturday is Saturday morning. And I'm just cleaning up a little bit. I'm going to decorate my tree. And I have to read, finish reading chapter one of Atomic Habits. It's horrible. Me and my friend are having like a girl's day we're gonna go over proverbs 31 and we're gonna go over like the first two chapters of the book but ho hopefully i just finished reading chapter one and i'm gonna make a charcuterie board so i do have to go to the grocery store i have to pick up groceries from walmart and i have to finish just wa washing these dishes but let me tell y'all what happened to me i don't even know if i can use this pot anymore so you know how the candles they get so low but i feel like i should get all my money's worth so I decided to put some water in this pot and put the candle in there and let it heat up so it, the aroma could fill the room. And it was working just fine. I tried to take it out and it kind of spilled in the pot. So now the wax, the can Woo! Oh my freaking God. The candle wax is all in the pot. So I'm probably not going to be able to use this pot to cook anymore. Right? Because of the candle wax. No matter how much I clean it, I wash it, it's still going to have that residue of the candle wax. Right? <laughs> you know I don't even got no pots like that. <laughs> so now wax is on the floor. Like, oh my God. Like, Line. I'm gonna this in the And where could I put this? Let me get it. Let's put that right there. I gotta clean up this. This um, whatever it's called. Right now. So let me get to this. Um, sorry, I did not upload the 
the vlog for Friday because your girl was tired. I spent so long doing my ugly nails. Ridiculous. Like my, these are the red nails. I had to go and fix them so they could look a little better because, and I didn't get done until like midnight or like 11 p.m. And I had to take a shower and get ready for bed. They don't look so bad on camera. I, after I fixed them, they look okay now. But they're still not like clean, like how you your nails would look after getting them done from a place. So that's the only thing. But we're gonna try this red nail theory out. I'll keep y'all posted. <laughs> Although I'm not even really why I'm going out this weekend. I think my cousin is in town, so I think we're gonna have either brunch or dinner tomorrow. I hope it's brunch. So because if we have brunch. Or either or, um, I'll have time to record my podcast after because I'm going to church tomorrow. I have to. I want to go physically to church. That garbage stinks. I can't wait to take it out. Ow! I almost broke it down. Now why would I? Oh. Me and Mr. Now, why does that song becoming a thing now? I need to make some matcha. I haven't ate breakfast yet. I'm going to make me a matcha if I can sit outside and read my book. Get out.
on my like you won't believe where the flat iron fell it fell <laughs> only me like literally you know how the flat irons open <laughs> it felt like what is that part behind your leg like this part it felt like right there I was praying. Ooh. God is so good. Okay. So I'm about to go to the office. But first I have to stop by and drop off my earring because I never did that to this like jewelry store that's repair centers right down the street. So should I bring, I'm not bringing my camera. No, too much stuff to carry. But I'm bringing my phone. So, I'm getting my tire, like, fix, not fixed, but putting air in my tire, which is so ghetto. I don't know. I don't know much about tires, right? But <laughs> I went to the dealership, like, maybe last week, and because the tire pressure told me, where. okay, it says it right now, where it shows that it's on 28, and it's that same tire, and they were like, oh, there's nothing wrong with your tire. You know, it's because the weather is changing. And that day was cool. So I'm like, okay, I never heard that before. And why is it only affecting one tire? But whatever. Why did it just happen again? And I I don't think Benz is a... Uh, this is low. Yeah. Yes, this one. You want to check? Yeah. I, I need to check it off the tire. Oh, okay. To check it? Okay. Do you want to not be your money?
Tell me all about the things where you were fantasized. I know you dig the women, step the women, make me stride. Follow your feeling, baby girl, because they cannot be denied. Come check me in the night, I'll make me get it amplified. But I'm gripping on the ship, and I go slip, and I go slide. In other words, the love I got to give is certified. Forgive me the top, it's long, get started for ride. camera's about to die so i'm about to switch it out first i want to get this done so i'll come back to you guys once it's done so this is the final outcome i have french brie apple green apples turkey pepperoni blueberries raspberry jam or blackberry jam smoked um i should have wrote down the cheese but that's goat cheese honey goat cheese um, salt and pepper crackers and regular crackers, honey, maple, walnuts, something, or, um, why well, keep saying walnuts? It's peak pecans. So good. So I finished the charcuterie board waiting on my twin to get here. Yeah, I'm like, girl, you never told me you had a twin. She's not my biological twin. Okay. So I'm gonna move the couch since it, it was, wait, hold on. So it was raining outside, so it was a little wet. I wanted us to do like a picnic kind of thing, but no, that's not gonna work. So I don't know if we should sit on the floor. I don't know if she's gonna wanna sit on the floor. So I'm gonna lay this blanket on the floor so we can like, you know. I think it's a nautical blanket at that. That's bleached. Haitian lady always bleaches something. Girl, that's one thing about it. The queen of bleaching. And then get mad at you if you complain that she bleached your stuff. Girl, what did you do that at? That's one thing I could not stand about my mom. Like, she will beat you mad. Girl, don't wash my clothes. How about that? And you tell her not to wash your clothes? She probably will stay away for maybe a week. After that, she washing your clothes. <laughs> oh my God, mom is so funny. I don't know. I think this is cute, right? I don't know. I'm not a host. Oh gosh. 
Let me, um, I'm trying to post. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so my friend just left. I'm about to edit. <laughs> you gonna be busy. That charcuterie board was everything. Like, and I posted it. Let me see how long ago I posted it. It's at 210k. Five hours. Oh, it's five hours ago. I didn't even know. Let us know two things. That a man with money does what he wants because she's women allow him to. Because as long as he is paying for their lifestyles, nobody has to say so. Everybody's, you know, everybody's staying in line, honey. Okay, we didn't even know about this. This, isn't, this did not even slip. And secondly, as busy as Diddy is and how he was everywhere, especially with Young Miami, it lets us know this. No matter how busy a man is, if you are a priority in his life, he will make time. If he likes you, he will make time. He will fit you into his schedule because ain't no way Diddy had a whole baby on the way, was out and about. So that's all I said, right? That's all I said. It wasn't much. I said two things. Two things. Relax. And it has 1,026 saves, 956 comments and 21.2k likes and 210.5 thousand plays and 623 shares listen i i just know i'm gonna be somebody like on a platform like you know i don't want y'all to think i'm talking about you know miami because i'm not that was not the intention of the video i was using that as an example for dating, like, listen, you're dealing with these men with money, um, but one thing you are going to be, one thing you do have to put up with when you date these men with money and status or whatnot is the disrespect, if you allow it. If, don't idolize these relationships because they're dealing with certain things that you probably can't even deal with. Like, I know me personally, I don't care how much money a man has. I get in my feelings, like, I can't, be with a man and I like you and then I see you with other women or you have babies on the way. Like, I'm not built for that. Some women are and kudos to you. Like, I'm, I I fall in love. And nobody I'm in love with, I'm territorial over the men I am in love with. So, it's just oh, the men. The man I am in love with, I'm territorial over. Like So, it's just like, no. That's just me. And then, secondly, what I said was... Men make no matter how busy the man is, he makes time for what he wants to make time for, and that is true. Diddy was everywhere, like he had parties, and the only person you would see one thing about it, you ain't see him with no other girl. I don't know, I don't follow those other girls, but all I see him with is young Miami, and obviously he has time for other women, but he makes time. So if a man is making it hard for you to see him or like he not reaching out, who ain't busier than Diddy? That's a whole mogul. He had businesses. Yes, he's a boss, but he's also busy, but he makes time to see his girls, his woman. So, if he's claiming that he's too busy for you, sis, chill. And somebody comment, oh, well, he has assistances and... Shut up. This is beyond your tax bracket. At the end of the day, it don't matter where you are as a person. Everybody has a busy lifestyle. But when you like someone and you want to prioritize that person because they have value in your life you know they can add value to your life in in any shape or form you're going to make time for them whether it's an hour a week you know you're going to make time for them because that's who you want when you want something you're going to make time for it i don't want to hear that bs i don't care who you are whether you diddy status or not the heck? People always want to debate. I now I don't have time to debate. See, that's why I need to get on my podcast. But my podcast is not going to be talking about celebrities mess. I might say a little two cents and I'm done. I might use it as an example. But that's about it. And I said what I said. And I'm not. Child, we might be in for a whirlwind. 